and 13 skull and Perrin appearing to get on top now coming out of it was Taylor Taylor hand passing across towards Sullivan That's taken away there uh, by uh, O'Sullivan of Caulfield that's King. Gary O'Sullivan out to King King a good player for Caulfield kicking hasn't been the best let's see what he does with this one he's got it across to Hartley and Hartley takes the mark the centre half forward as they travel up towards the high speed end of the ground Caulfield 11-6 badly needing another goal directing it in towards the forward pocket but it's been knocked away it's going to go very close to the line kept in play by Sutherland and the umpire has blown the whistle and the free kick is going to go uh, to Michaels who uh, has just come on the ground for Caulfield. Ted tells me he comes from Swan District, Western Australia. Michael, well, let's see if he can do anything with this one. It's a good kick. Not quite the distance. The accuracy is out. Good mark, and it might have been Sutherland up there. No, it's Davidson. Davidson in the piece of goal, taking good mark. He's kicked one goal. And another one uh, is badly needed by Caulfield on 72 points, uh, trailing Perrin's 85 points. And Davidson's only a matter of 15 metres in front, directly in front, and it's another goal, and that puts them uh, on to 12 goals, 6 Caulfield, 12, 6 Caulfield, 78, Perrin, 13, 7, 85. Well, that was a badly needed goal, as you mentioned then, uh, Bill, that uh, Caulfield wanted that because Perrin, up until about seven minutes ago, I felt it was starting to get right on top. And one of the reasons for this, I think, is that they moved McGuinness from centre-half back onto the ball, where Caulfield had the superiority there. But there you see the play there, the Flex Wire, who came off the ground before and uh, obviously, obviously suffering, suffering a knee injury there. But I do believe the change has come over the game, mainly because McGuinness, McGuinness has gone onto the ball, Bill, to take this superiority away from uh, uh, Caulfield in that centre bounce. Right, well, it's three minutes into the time-on period in the second quarter. The difference is seven points in favour of Perrin. And uh, we're coming up to the long interval, of course. And by doing a pretty good job when you come to uh, reflect on it and consider it. Sutherland getting it down towards King, who couldn't control it or handle it. It'll be... Uh, it was near enough to a throw, I think, by Russ. Takes it back to the old throw pass days in Associate 